what's, what's on your mind today, man? Uh, all is well. Just came back from China and Japan. Okay. My first visits over there, speaking with the African China community. China and Japan? And Japan. Really? I spent a week in Japan, uh, Tokyo and Nagoya. Okay. And then they Nagoya flew me. Dope. Yeah, Nagoya is dope. Yeah, Nagoya is dope. I really enjoyed it. And then I went to Shanghai and Beijing. It was bittersweet. Sweet because it was good seeing African people in a different setting from America. Mm. Okay, I had never been to China. So it was it was very good to see that. The bitter side is the fact that we're not treated well over there. Really? I'm not really? surprised at that. What do you mean? But I was taken aback by the extent to which racism is practiced against blacks in China wow. openly. Really? So in America, we have a civil rights culture. Mm -hmm. So racism, you have to tuck it under. It has to be covert. It has to be covert. Yeah. And China is very much so overt. Like, there were certain nightclubs that we couldn't go into. Really? Oh, yeah. And they will tell you no black people are allowed here. What? There's certain sections of uh, certain neighborhoods you can't live in. So, for example, if they don't want you in a certain section in, in Brooklyn, uh, they will just use clever real estate tactics to keep you out. Absolutely. Okay, i.e. your credit ain't good enough or the bank didn't approve mm -hmm. your loan. Mm -hmm. They don't have to oh, do that in China. Anymore. Exactly. They're direct with it. They're direct with it. We don't want black people here. Oh, without question. And the irony is what? Africa is rolling out the red carpet for China. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're taking over the Caribbean. They're taking over Africa. They're taking over the Caribbean. They're all in South Africa. In fact, Mandarin is now an official language in the Republic of South Africa. Mm -hmm. Zulu isn't. Kosa isn't. So the indigenous languages are not taught in the school, but Mandarin is. That speaks to the influence of China, but they don't roll out the red carpet for us in China. We're the first to build every civilization everywhere. So I don't care if you're in Mexico, if you're in Europe, who are the first Europeans? The Grimaldis of Africa, who migrated 20 to 40,000 years ago, mm -hmm. and in the process of climatology, lost the pigmentation, the deep pigmentation that we have. So no matter where you go, we were the first people there. Is there any place in the world we can go and not experience racism? No, not at all. Even because, the Caribbean? Not even, not even in the Caribbean. Mm. In fact, when I was in Jamaica, I keynoted the Garvey celebration last summer, Ocho Rios. The Chinese pretty much own Jamaica. I mean, the Jamaican government is giving them concessions, land concessions. They're building hotels, beach resorts. Uh, they're building two schools for, for the Jamaicans. And what the Jamaicans have to give them in turn is the right to certain lands, the right to certain waterways. And if it doesn't stop, Jamaica, ironically, the land of Marcus Garvey and Bob Marley, will be the first Chinese colony in the Caribbean. Wow. It's getting bad. And you know why it's happening? Because the black bourgeoisie leadership in both Africa and the Caribbean they don't have to live with the consequences of the economic decisions they make. So if I'm the president of Jamaica, okay, and China says, listen, we're going to give you a million dollars in retirement. We're going to build you a retirement home, mm -hmm. but we want this, this, and this. And you can loan as much money as you want. You can borrow as much money from the Bank of China as you want. I'm going to be set by the time I leave office. But what about my nation? Jamaica will be struggling for the next 50 and 75 years because of bad economic decisions from selfish leaders today. And that's the problem in Africa, and it's the problem in the Caribbean. Well, you got to remember, China is overpopulated. Mm -hmm. So it's always looking for opportunities to dump some of its excess population. Right. And you know what's so sad? Chinese will come to South Africa poor with nothing. And in three years, they're owning two and three major businesses. Because what happens is when the Chinese come, they employ their own. Mm -hmm. They don't employ indigenous African labor. But this is exactly what the heads of state tell black people. Let the Chinese come to Jamaica. Let them come to South Africa. They're going to give you guys jobs. The jobs never come. They bring their own population, which makes sense from their perspective because they have so many people mm -hmm. that need a place to go outside of China. So they're showing up broke and going back home as millions.